Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Um, I was lucky enough a couple of weeks ago to go to St Andrews and watch the Open. Almost said British Open then. I was lucky enough to watch the Open and then I caddied the day after. And it was interesting um, to final day pins and they were very much sucker pins. So what I mean by that is they're kind of there to entice, try to, if you take the risk on, if you get it slightly wrong, you're really going to drop some shots. So from a course management perspective, and especially if you're at home with shots, you've got to actually, rather than just zapping, so what I mean by that is like if you've got a laser, it's sometimes easy to laser, go well that yardage is let's say 140 yards, I hit my wedge 140, let's go straight at it. Whereas actually that pin is there to try and sucker you in and you should be maybe using a 130 yardage aiming a bit further left, a bit more into the middle of the green, so you haven't got any issues. And what was really interesting is on the 11th hole on the old course, they put the pin on, on that last day right back, as far back into the green as it could go, and there was this massive runoff past the green. And I, I was uh, sitting there with my university uh, lad, high performance lad, uh, Geo, and we're watching thinking, oh, this is gonna be exciting because we're gonna see players hitting over, trying to play these massive, crazy flop shots, and it, it just didn't happen. And the reason for that is, although that pin, let's say, is 160, they get their book out and they go, well, the middle of the green is 140, I don't want to hit it any, any yardage past that, because I can't afford to go over the green. Because if I go over the green, I'm guaranteeing a drop shot. Whereas if I play a slightly shorter yardage, I'm going to be able to possibly hold the putt, but at least I'm going to make par and I'm going to get out of there. And it was so interesting watching the players, even like Phil Mickelson didn't take it on. A couple did get it back to the pin. Um, Luke Donald got it back to the pin, but he was screaming at this ball to stop. So what he'd actually done is used the middle yardage like everyone else and actually over hit. So in that situation, he got lucky, had a birdie putt, Whereas if he'd used that pin yardage and hit the same shot, gone slightly long, he's dead. So yeah, it was a great example of not playing the pin yardage, play a safer yardage so you take all the trouble out, make a pin that's actually very dangerous and just completely neutralize it by using a slightly shorter yardage. I think there's guys at home and I'm, I'm all for the lasers, I, I've got nothing against using the lasers, but sometimes you can laser a yardage and that's not really the yardage you should be playing. It, it's not using your total yardage, it's using a carry yardage. And this is a great example, the carry yardage is nowhere near what that total yardage is. So, again, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that uses a laser a lot and just really ends up using total yardages? Or do you try and factor it in? Or you somebody that's got like a GPS device that's got like front, middle, back yardages and you try to factor in all three to give yourself a better chance of being successful on the course. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Thanks for watching the video and I hope to catch you soon.